Hello everyone, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Maker Madness. And today, we have Mega Man Powered Up Challenge Jump for Joy. I know that there were some challenges in uh, Mega Man Powered Up. I don't remember offhand what they were really like. The only time I was really exposed to them was watching a couple people play through them, and that's been a long time ago now. Well, I have a feeling we're going to be jumping a lot, since that is basically our only verb. Alright. One. And we jump. Uh, well... I was doing good jumping until right then. That's a four-tile jump. That's a tough one. Alright. All the rest of those are basically free. These ones are a little bit tougher. Which means I need to spend a little bit more time actually paying attention and doing things properly. That one I didn't feel like I shouldn't have made. Yes, it's four tiles, but I was pretty far over. Uh, kind of a longy. Oof. Um. I am not entirely sure what I did wrong there. <sighs> My instinct just does not work. I have to line it up. I wish I could be one of those guys who is just... can keep the button held and knows exactly the right time to make the jump. It would probably reduce a lot of stress on some of those uh, ones where enemies are kind of harassing you. Okay. That wasn't enough. That was a full jump there, so... And, yeah, I, I have nothing. I have nothing except my bounding legs, which are not bounding nearly enough for some of these. Okay. That one's fine. How is that not enough? Do I have, do I have to be right? I can't be right next to. That I was I was thinking too much about that jump and not thinking about the one that I actually had to do. I'm getting impatient. I just want to get back to that one and try to figure out what I'm doing wrong. But I have to actually do these in order to get back to that one, so maybe I should be a little bit more careful. Wow, I have to be super far over in order to make that. I, I'm not too sure how much I like that. Alright, but 
I managed to complete it in the end. It's definitely a challenge. I problem is, it's kind of a dull challenge. I mean, that's not the uh, creator's fault, because he's just replicating something from the game, I presume, but uh, it's not really a very interesting challenge, I'll be perfectly honest. And we have more Dr. Rai returns. Well, I, I can't offhand remember which ones I've done of these. I'll have to take a I'll have to take a look and find out so that I don't redo anything. We'll do Grave Castle by Original Mega Girl. Nine plays, five thumbs up. That sounds like a good, pretty good ratio to me. Then we have some more options in that last stage. And all of them are available to us right away. Alright, so we have some... Mets acting as turrets. Take that. Okay. Yes, hey. Don't you dare. What's our best option against you? That works well enough. What do we want here? There's nothing in this room. Got kind of a maze here. How about that? I feel like... I feel like Magnet Beam is slightly redundant, because I can't really imagine too many situations I would want Magnet Beam over Jet Adapter. So what was the point of going there as opposed to somewhere else? I'm not quite sure what's going on at this stage. But I do know that we have uh, Shade Man, so let's get Shady. And as predicted, he has this weakness and uh, I did not actually think he was going to do another, uh... Yeah, he's trying to... I wanted to see if I could reflect his, uh... I can. Ha ha ha! Reflecting the other way, how about? Okay, well, uh, that was a stage. Alright. It was a decent stage. I don't know if it was a super decent stage. It felt kind of empty in a lot of parts. And uh, I don't really know what was up with all the multiple paths. But I'd say it's pretty fine. 
laggiest level question mark? I'm going to regret trying this. I'm almost sure of it, but um, we shall see what happens. Also, it's probably going to take, like, absolutely forever to load, so... take as long as I thought it would. But let's go see how laggy it is in practice. Holy smokes! What the hell is going on, by the way? Okay, well, uh, I think you did it. I think you successfully created the laggiest level ever. Holy smokes, even Bolt Greywing didn't go this bad. Is there anything I can do to de-lag it, is the question. Um, probably not, but I'm going to... I'm legitimately somewhat impressed that someone managed to make this as much of an ordeal as it, they did. Scared to know how. You actually got a boss in here, too? Yeah, this is gonna take like forever. Life bar filling up is like Mega Man too slow. Oh my goodness, this is absolute torture. actually do is my question. I 
I think the game might have just crashed on me. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, surprise at that. Okay, we're not gonna do any more of that. <laughs> Obviously a thumbs down, but uh, I don't think they're doing... I don't think they made this to get lots of thumbs up. That, uh... I'm tempted to look... Actually, you know what? Yes. We're gonna look at that one offline. Because I want to see exactly what is all... What all is in that that makes it so laggy. Let's see what we got going here. It's probably gonna take a little bit to load here too. Because Lord knows they probably put like all of the everything. But I just gotta, I gotta see how they did this, how they pulled this off, because that is some supreme level lag, and I'm surprised that it even loaded with lag that bad. I mean, I had some bolt gray wing levels that all were borderline non-functional because of how laggy they were, but they weren't even that <laughs> serious. Looks like I'm going to have to bring back out the elevator music. All right. I forget, is there a zoom function here? I haven't actually touched level creator in infinite amount of time. to see a little bit more of this. So what all is causing that one? Oh. I'm guessing that this completely unnecessary number of switches is part of the reason. If not the entire reason. Oh, you notice that it moves a lot more smoothly. In certain parts. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed that they managed to get that much lag in.
a fairly compact area. Although, questioning well, how compact it is when I keep looking at this. Okay, now things are moving fairly quickly, though. I wonder why certain spots with lots of switches are laggy and certain ones aren't. Okay, well, uh, lesson learned, don't ever use this many switches. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.